Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the concept of sets, a very important concept in mathematics, right from the grade four, from the grade four onwards. Let's see what the, what is meant by sets. We will start from the definition of the sets. That is stated as a set is a well defined well defined collection of collection of distinct objects this is the basic definition you that you will find everywhere but most of the time we are unable to understand the uh, exactly this definition we are unable to understand what is meant by this definition as we have seen that there are two words that that needs proper attention well defined and distinct these two words properly need attention to understand the concept of sets let's see what is meant by well defined and distinct objects in uh, the con uh, while uh, discussing the concept concept of sets first we will see what is meant by well defined well defined okay well defined basically refers to the property the property property of an object of an object that make it that make it a part of that set part of that set now let's discuss it basically well defined means that the obj object object that is going to be defined should have some property that makes it a part of that specific set of which we are going to make it a part for example you will clearly understand its concept by means of an example for example we have a set that is called a set of writing tools okay a set of writing tool and it consists of mainly pen pencil eraser sharpener ruler and so on basically this is a set that is called a set of writing tools a set of writing tools now it is clear from here that these objects objects what are the objects here pen pencil pen pencil eraser sharpener ruler these are all the objects of the set and these are all showing a specific property that is they are all the writing tools that all the tools that you need while writing it means we can we we can enclose them in a set of writing tools it means this is a well defined this is a well defined set as it is defined by the name of writing tools as all of these have a specific property that, that they are representing okay now we will see what is meant by distinct objects distinct objects what is meant by distinct objects as its name indicate that the word distinct refers to the uniqueness it means there should be no repetition 
of objects in a set no repetition of objects in a set okay it means this is this is the meaning of basically distinct now you i'm sure now you will uh, uh, you will have a clear concept of the definition of the set that what are sets let's take an example to justify this concept we will we'll take the same example as we have used before pen pencil eraser ruler pen and so on. okay now this is a set of writing tools now it is clear from here that this this is a set of writing tool it means it has the property of being well defined but is it have the property of being distinct no but how let's see how it is not distinct there are two objects in this set that are repeated twice this subject th this object of pen is re repeated two times in this set it means that this set is not distinct and if a set is not distinct it means it is not a set it means for a set you must have the two properties that satisfy it one is it should be one is it should be well defined and it should be distinct if any of the any one of this these two properties have failed to satisfy the uh, the uh, given set it means that the that set cannot we cannot call that that collection of items a set basically a set grouped multiple items of ha having same property in at one place so if they these uh, these multiple items don't have the same property or a specific property how we can group them together i mean that is not a set similarly we and those objects must be distinct must be unique they, they should not be repeated so this is how we discuss the con this is how we are uh, having the concept of sets now let's see how we can represent a set representation or notation representation or notation of a set okay how we can represent it let's see how we can represent it let's take an example we have a set of colors okay set of colors say a red blue green up to so on okay now let's see what are what do we call all the all these uh in the set while representing a set okay so we will say that these are the elements of the set elements or objects of set okay and this is called name of the set it could be any and it will be written in capital letters and most of the time the name of the set is represented by capital letters okay 
so and this is called the set bracket set bracket and these dots are showing the infinity concept as this set consists of infinite number of colors until and unless we specific uh, we specify a certain limit like a uh, set of colors started starting with the letter with the letter b then it will limit this set so this is how we can represent the set and uh, represent the sets in mathematics now we will see the symbolic representation of a set symbolic representation of a set okay uh, we are going to discuss its uh, the symbolic representation of sets representation symbolic representation of sets let's see how we can represent it symbolically first we will take an example let's say there are two families there are two families okay this is family a and this is family b okay in family a what are the members of family a consists of john robert and julie okay and family b consists of louis harry and diana okay so we can say that we can say that this is a set consisting of three elements and this is a set b consisting of three elements okay so these are the three elements these are the elements of set a and these are the elements of set b now how we can represent it symbolically we will say that john we will say that let's let's take it like john the element of family a belongs to a okay the new thing here is belongs to this is the sign of belongs to it means belongs to means that the john is a part of a okay john is a part of set a john is a part of family a so in order to re represent the elements and their connection to the their set we will use this symbolic representation of belongs to Okay, belongs to so john belongs to a okay again we can write as robert belongs to a okay then we may write as louis belongs to A. No, Louis does not belong to A. So we can use the notation of does not belongs to. This is the notation of 
does not belongs to as it is clear from the above sets that that lewis does not belongs to the set a rather lewis belongs to the family b or the set b so we may write as lewis belongs to b this is right okay and similarly we can write it as harry belongs to b harry belongs to b okay and diana also belongs to b while julie belongs to a robert belongs to a and john belongs to a. this is the symbolic representation of the sets how we can how we can relate the elements of the sets to the of the elements to the set itself okay so this was all about how we can represent a set symbolically now we will say that how we can describe a set how we can describe a set set description set can be described in two ways okay set can be described in two ways one is the descriptive form one is the descriptive form descriptive form and the other is the tabular form tabular form okay now we will discuss them one by one with examples what is descriptive form as its name indicates that a descriptive form is a form in which a set is described by statement description by statement okay description by statement tabular form as its name indicates it's a description description by elements itself by elements in brackets let's see how okay let's see how we will take their example as we can have the example what is the example we are having the example as um you can say that a is a set and what are the elements set of for example set of set of colors so we have written the set in a description form okay in the form of words when we write the set the elements of the set in the form of words then it is called a descriptive form okay we take another example b is equals to b is equals to set of american singers american singers okay this is again a set that is described by words by means of words then it is called a descriptive form again we can take the set of citrus fruits citrus fruits okay so all these are written basically in the form of words so we can say that we can say that this is a descriptive form now let's see how let's see how we can write them in the tabular form if we write the set in the form of its elements like a is equals to 
like it was set of colors how we can write it in wl form as uh, blue red green so on so this is a tabular form okay then we can write these go to set of american singers b is equals to let's take uh, let uh, let's say in general like britney spears britney spears comma up to so on and you may write it by yourself then the name of the singers okay then we have the c is equals to set of citrus fruits now what are the set of citrus fruits we can write it as pomegranate okay mm you may write as apple or uh, you can write uh, apricot okay or uh, you can write orange up to so on so this is a set of citrus fruits so this was how we can represent the set in uh, both the forms that is descriptive as well as tabular form also this uh, uh, this video lecture has uh, helped you a lot in understanding the actual concept of sets their representation their examples and to uh, and if someone asks you tell me whether it is a set or not so you can have a clear concept about it at the end we will take some examples and you can also have this exercise at your own to find out certain sets whether they are sets or not examples for example you have a set a is equals to s t u v s now i will ask you please comment whether it is a set or not is it a set or not for that what you have to check you have to check two things is it well defined is it well defined yes it is well defined as all the elements are well defined by their um, as uh, they are unique at their own end so yes these are the alphabets of uh, these are the alphabets and these are well defined okay now we will check there should be no repetition of the elements okay let's check no there is a repetition so here we got there is a repetition s is repeated twice it means that one of the two conditions have not met the criteria of set it means if if any one of them is not uh, satisfied then we will say that it is not a set okay let's take an another example let's have uh, uh another example as b is equals to set of brave boys brave boys okay now we will check is it well defined let's see is it well defined okay no it is not well defined it is not well defined as all of the boys are brave boys so how you can say it is a set of uh, it is it is a set in which every element has its own property as it is not well defined so here we say that this property has not met this is the property required 
for set to be a set is not met. Next is no repetition. No repetition. So here you can say there is no repetition because uh, if we take a set in which there is a John and Harry and uh, and there are different names. So the boys are different, but the property on the basis of which we are making the set is not well defined. So we can say that there is no repetition, but still it is not a set. Okay. Now the last example is set of vowels. Set of vowels. That is A E I O U. Okay. Now it is clear from here that there is no repetition and they and they are well defined as it is a set of vowels. So we can say that it is a set. It is well defined. And no repetition. No repetition. It means it is a set. So this is all from the examples of uh, examples that will uh, surely help you out to understand the concept of set. Whenever you you will be asked regarding any kind of set, and you will say quickly that. These are the two properties. If these two properties met, then it means it is a set. Hope so. This lecture has helped you a lot, and we will be back with the with the more videos related to sets. So stay tuned. Thank you.